Probationary firefighters. Hi, I'm Craig Duck, President and Missionary of the Fellowship of Christian Firefighters. Today we're going to talk about probationary firefighters and what in the world does that have to do with our faith. Probationary firefighters. Hey, every department has them. Uh, these are the new people that come in. These are the, uh, the lowest uh, 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 on the ladder. These are the ones that uh, uh, just coming onto the job, they're learning the job. And, and they're called different uh, uh, names by different departments, right? Uh, probationary firefighters, rookies, uh, uh, plebes, uh, um, uh, probies, uh, just a whole bunch of different things. And certain areas have uh, have their fun names uh, uh, that they call them, but again, they're uh, they're here. Uh, they come to your department to learn and, and to grow. And uh, so, uh, when I was in Washington D.C., we had probationary firefighters. You would you would get hired by the uh, department. You'd go to recruit school, spend your time there, learn, take tests, and once you passed that, then you would be assigned to a company of which you were a uh, probationary firefighter. And uh, um, you were in a different classification. You were considered a, 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 a part-time, right? You weren't even considered full-time uh, for disciplinary uh, purposes. But uh, you went to those companies and your learning continued. Uh, you had tests to take. Uh, you had uh, uh, practicals that you had to, uh, that you had to do. And, and so this was uh, to be able to prepare you for emergencies so that uh, uh, when you responded uh, as a firefighter, you would uh, be able to take care of the situation, mitigate the situation, return the area back to some uh, sense of, of calm. And so uh, probationary uh, firefighters are, are important. So the expectation of the department is that uh, you would continue to grow, right? We don't want you to be a a uh, probationary firefighter your entire career, right? We want you to uh, go to be, turn out to be that uh, senior firefighter, to get promoted, to, uh, to learn the job, and to, uh, to be uh, great at it. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, uh, and everybody does. If, if you don't, if you don't pass the test, you don't, uh, uh, you don't grow, then uh, you lose your job or, or you lose interest and then maybe you go on to something else. But what does this have to do with our faith? You know, when you were first saved, when you first uh, believed in Jesus Christ, uh, uh, trusted in Him for the forgiveness of sins, and, and uh, you began this relationship, and, and uh, Jesus changed you, uh, He, he uh, uh, reformed you, He redeemed you, He you know, uh, uh, made you new, right? Uh, you were acting one way, and now you're acting another. And, and so many people consider this as babes in Christ, all right? Uh, your new beginning, you were born again, uh, was was the uh, what Jesus talked about when when he talked to uh, Nicodemus? But uh, uh, listen to hear what Hebrews chapter six, and I would encourage you to go ahead and read uh, uh, chapter six verses one to twelve, so you can kind of get the context of this. But but it says, uh, therefore, let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. And so uh, here the writer of Hebrews is telling us that, uh, uh, you know, uh, you get saved, you're the babe in Christ, but uh, it doesn't stop there. Uh, just like uh, in the fire service, we expect probationary firefighters to learn and to grow and to, uh, uh, to mature in, in uh, their knowledge of, of firefighting. Uh, here, believers are expected to learn and to grow, uh, and you can only do that by studying your Bible, by uh, regularly attending a Bible-believing local church, or by hanging out with uh, like-minded people so that you can uh, uh, grow in your faith. That's, that's the goal, uh, to go on to maturity. It takes time. It takes effort, just like uh, probationary firefighters, right? You had to study. You had to, uh, you had to learn how to do that. You had to get the skills. You had to be able to do it. It took time and effort to be able to, to do that. And likewise with our faith. But why do we see that uh, so many Christian firefighters and first responders are, are just babes in Christ? You wouldn't even know that they were saved, right? That they, that they were transformed uh, by Christ, that they were anything uh, different. And so uh, we need to, uh, to get onto that. Listen to what Paul says here. Uh, he's pretty blunt um, uh, with this, uh, with the um, uh, with this group of uh, people in, in uh, Corinthian, Corinth, right? First Corinthians uh, three, one and two, brothers and sisters, I do not address you as people who live by the Spirit, but as people who are still worldly. 
mere infants in Christ. I gave you milk, uh, not solid food, for you were not yet able for it. Indeed, you are still not ready. Uh, you know, we should have that desire to grow in our faith. Uh, we, should, we should put a lot of effort into it, just as much time and effort as we do into the fire service. It'll make you a better firefighter, I promise you that. It, it helped me along uh, my career, 28 years in Washington, D.C., and then you know, a total of 40 in the fire service between paid and volunteer. Uh, my uh, relationship with Christ, uh, uh, my faith helped me through those difficult times. Uh, uh, but again, I didn't stay a mere babe in Christ, I, I grew. Uh, that is the desire. That's what we should do. Uh, the Fellowship of Christian Firefighters is here to help foster that. We, we want you to be discipled. We want you to grow. And uh, we want you to, to do your best. And so, uh, so the prayer for today is, Lord, uh, teach me. Uh, teach me uh, your ways. Help me to walk in them. Help me to be obedient uh, to those biblical truths that you have signed up. And uh, uh, again, we want uh, Christian firefighters and first responders to be an encouragement to others. And so uh, uh, encouragement, uh, you know, that's an action word, you know, so let's get busy. Let's, let's, get, let's get doing that. Let's pray. Our great Heavenly Father, just thank you for today, Lord. Father, thank you for your goodness, your love and mercy, Lord, uh, for this challenge. Uh, as we're uh, coming close to 2024, Lord, help us to evaluate our, our faith life and, and our journey with Christ and help us to uh, uh, be able to grow in our faith, be pleasing to you in everything we say and everything that we do. And I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Write a comment on it. That helps the uh, algorithms of, of everything. And uh, uh, again, share it with, with other people. Let, let's, uh, uh, let's start a trend. Let's, let's go viral in the fire service. Uh, uh, let's, let's start a revival, uh, which is so needed. And uh, so share this with, with other people. And if, if there's a video that uh, I can help you with, uh, leave a comment in there. You know, what kind of video would you like to see? If you need some resources in your faith, go to www.fellowshipofchristianfirefighters.org. Uh, we have all our Bible studies, our daily devotions, uh, everything on there for you. Or uh, just download the free app. Uh, you can do it on Apple or Android. Uh, just search it in your Play Store or Apple Store. Christian Firefighter Hub has everything on there. It's interactive and uh, even has a Bible reading plan. Uh, let's make 2024. Everybody read through the uh, the Bible in a year. Let's make it that year. Let's uh, uh, let's go crazy uh, for Christ and uh, uh, ask all this. Let's do something, as Keith Helms would say. So again, or you can email me if you need some help in your faith. Uh, F C F I missionary at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. May God continue to bless you as you daily walk with Him.